Hi, welcome to Red Point. We're here today to talk to you about the modern marketing architecture. Thanks for making time for us today. Uh, Red Point's been working on uh, cross-channel marketing for some time. It's had some ideas about it. Forrester has invited Red Point to participate over the past year in uh, its cross-channel campaign management uh, report. Uh, first year out, we were cited as a leader, so we feel like we're getting some traction in the space. Today we're sitting with marketers to understand if the message that we're providing resonates with people. We'd like to get your feedback. You have comment cards in here. that The questions that we're asking actually ma map to the criteria that Forrester had for its criteria. So if you fill that out, we're going to send this information back to you guys and see how relevant the report is. And it gives us a chance to extend the conversation if there's an interest. Also, at the end of this, we have uh, product experts that can give you a look and feel of the software if there's a continued interest. So, red point, time to get modern. We're tar here starting with the marketer's aspiration. So, you know, our call to action is to provide sustained, profitable growth for the organization. To do that, we need to understand our customers. We need to understand them very well and have solid strategies that we can put into market to win their business. But there are challenges. <laughs> 5.3 trillion digital impressions, according to Forder, is what customers are receiving on an annual basis. We need to ask whether what we're doing can break through that noise to reach our customers. It seems like a daunting challenge. How could we go about that? Well, Redpoint likes to step back and well, we agree that information is power. In recent years, technology has created a democratization of information, shifting power away from the brands to the customers. We have mobile devices. We can find out about your, your product or service. We can take it to the store. We can get reviews. The question we're asking is whether marketers can adjust and maybe find some advantage in this situation. When we break the challenge down, it comes back to brand relevance. How can I make my brand relevant to those customers? Going back to the strength of the marketer, our number one responsibility is to understand the customer, understand the types of experiences that will make a customer engage over the long term. Once we have those experience strategies, we're talking about personalization, hyper-personalization, not just relevant content, but immediately relevant content that seems to map to the modern channels. This is a, a nice vision, but the space has become complicated or uh, very complex. People, we know, we know this space, right? We, uh, over the past 10 years, there's been an explosion of data, uh, you know, proliferation of channels. It's created a new dynamic for marketers. You know, unintended consequence, the technology hasn't caught up. It's created greater fragmentation, greater challenge for marketers. Each year there's a new point solution. We're not sure how that fits into the ecosystem. <laughs> the channel is going to require a new subject matter expert. They'll bring their tools. As holistic creatives, we're supposed to roll out with a strategy that's coordinated and makes sense. New data silos are crea created for each of these channels. They each have their own definition of success, key performance indicators. Are we ahead or behind? <laughs> yes, we're usually behind. And last year we were talking about the need for speed. You know, the new channels are very demanding. We have social apps where the message is only available for a few moments. So the need to be relevant in real time is here. Um, and the solutions that we've had in the past 
thought about traditional campaigns where we formulated a strategy with an audience, we tested those counts, and we sent something out into the world. Marketers need help. They need help from technology. But the demands of our organization and the customers continue to grow. If we talk about what the mo modern marketer wants to become. Uh, the modern marketer is asked to be creative, holistic, thinking out of the box to make their brand relevant for customers. And we're also asking you to be savvy in data and analytics. We want to take the anonymous person and make them known. We want to know absolutely everything that can be known about a customer. We want to take that information and serve it up in relevant, interesting ways for our customers so they become engaged. We become relevant. It makes uh, consistent, well-timed messages essential. The modern marketer realizes that there is an opportunity for them to become the change agent within the organization. If we're, our target is to get that sustained, profitable growth, who better? Who better to break down the fragmented processes uh, and distributed data sets to really understand the customer? the marketer cannot do it alone. They need to be supported, we think, with a modern marketing architecture, something that's new, nimble, agile, gives the marketer the opportunity to experiment without a close binding to IT. So we would say that any modern marketing architecture uh, needs to fully embrace multi-channel communications. When we look at some of the competitors cited in the Forrester report, we've got some of them down here. Many of these solutions were crafted with traditional channels in mind when we were still using tele and direct mail. The challenges were different as we evolved into email and putting our toe in the water with digital, we could add on simple solutions. We could start with process and move towards the channels. Redpoint's a little bit different. It was purpose built for multi-channel. It understood that marketers need to get data from many locations and serve it up in any variety of ways. And a marketer may not have the long-term investment dollars to invest deep in a space. They need to, need to get started small, slowly, and build a case, build an audience, see how things are doing, and have the freedom to evolve a solution. So uh, Redpoint and a modern marketing architecture should address those challenges. We also see that modern marketing is about fragmentation, fragmentation of data, processes, channels. We think of a convergent marketing platform to try and bring that together. Think of a super connected ecosystem for marketers able to connect data, analytics, and not campaigns but interactions, a two-way communication, really going after the customer dialogue that we've been talking about for 15 years. It should be an intelligent conversation. So we believe a modern marketing architecture should be uh, understand that change is what marketing is. It should be future-proofed. It should evolve as the marketing strategy evolved. It shouldn't be a rip and replace solution. It should integrate with the tools that marketers already love. It should drive transparency. It should create visibility as well as control for the data from all of the various sources. It should allow marketers to deal with the channel-specific tools in a simplified way. What we're asking for is a tool that can be a central point of operational control and collaboration with the team and the various stakeholders in that organization. We need the ability to launch new, exciting, complex messaging strategies. So how do we get there? Boy, I set the bar really high. So we think of it as a modern marketing architecture must deliver against three areas. Baseline table stakes will need to be a modern data architecture. Unacceptable to go after just structured data. You need to get the unstructured data too. You know, we're hearing things about weather as being a big predictor for sales. We understand that Twitter is starting to take off, but how do we get our arms around that data? We also have many, many operational systems. We have many, many databases. We believe we've created a system that'll integrate with most of the data systems, if not all of the databases that you have today. We have some real innovation uh, also with Hadoop in terms of big data solutions for those that are interested. Analytics. 
Not enough for analytics to be after the fact generating reports after the campaigns long done. We need solutions that are dynamic, real time, collecting information from the various channels feeding customer preferences, behaviors, implicit, explicit, to, Im to really build out that customer profile, but then take that as a starting place. We have the seeds of enabling machine learning. We have an ability to start leveraging algorithms, to start popping the offers that are relevant to the individual. We can run the A, B, or A, B, C, D, N testing. We can set the significance levels for those and allow the machines to go forward without stopping a campaign. It should roll on and on and on. In the new channels, we find that we don't really have time to stop. We need, need to let the machines help us. So we're talking about in-flight analytics, machine learning, and real-time decisions. Finally, we need to bring it all together in a connected execution layer. Uh, we need an ability to have um, a heads-up display or a central control panel where a marketer can go in, bring its, his or her team together, and understand how the strategy should be played out across the various channels. There needs to be a, uh, an ability to touch all customer endpoints in a single solution. So what we're asking for is each of the channel-specific tools, whether it's your website, your email, Twitter, Facebook, all of these things need to come under one roof. We need to create bi-directional communications so that if we push a post to Facebook, was that successful? Are people liking it? Is it getting traction? Who's talking about it? Can we bring that back into the customer data context? So what we want is a common user interface to design, deploy, and monitor the success of our campaigns. Assuming we get to this point, it really sets us up for really what's most important. Goal-based marketing. The dream is for the marketer to be able to set up the campaign and well-quantified goals. Hand this off to machine learning to begin to manipulate the various components in those campaigns to drive towards the goals that you, we as marketers have in mind. It should roll on and on and on and it should have rich permissions, high rate of usability, so others can benefit from these things. Define it once, reuse it forever. So it's really bringing it all together is what we think of as a modern marketing architecture. We're looking to step out of the herd, to micro-segment, hyper-personalize, and become what we're talking about is super relevant. Understanding exactly how to get your brand to the customer immediately, now, 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 without deep investment and deep reliance on IT.